today is Monday, which is like by far the worst day of the week. And so we're trying to fight the Monday blues with some skincare and some self love. Hello, welcome back to Illustrating Failure. If you are new here, my name is Janie and I'm just a new freelance illustrator trying to survive the world of freelancing without that much experience. Um, so watch me and my channel trying to do different things to try and survive. If you didn't see my last one, um, I'm pretty much trying to start like a self-care Mondays kind of thing. I don't know if this is like already a thing, but I'm gonna do it anyways today here on my channel just, just for fun. And you might be wondering, how does skincare relate to illustration at all? Well, I am an illustrator and anything I do is technically what an illustrator does, right? <laughs> but like besides that, you know, like self-care is important. Also like if like the topic of self-care and like skincare ever comes up in an article or something and some client wants me to do it, then you know, it's good to have some experience on that part is what I tell myself, but it is equally as valid. So this is my setup. I have my eye cream here, the face cream here. There we go. And also this essence here. I kind of just use it as a serum. Uh, this is my eye makeup remover. I got it for free in like a promotion kind of thing. Pretty dope. I need my sunscreen. Protect me from the sun's rays. I would start out with um, like the serum, the snail serum. It's actually like amazing, has been amazing for my skin and you know for something like so cheap, I think this was like 20-30 bucks, like it really um, does the job and I think it really helps also uh, when, compare, when combined like with the other like products in its line so I used to use Origins um, like vitamin C or whatever like cream but then I since like I like this one so much I kind of like switched over to I wanted to try the advanced snail 92 cream and it's like really sticky like when I touch it but then when I put it on my face it's really lightweight so it's it's pretty nice it's pretty nice yeah and then also like I've switched over to like the advanced snail peptide eye cream as well and like, I, I wouldn't say like I noticed like a grand difference for, you know, my eye bags after using this, but comp like when I combine it with like everything else, um, I find like it, like it does a pretty good job um, in compared to using like the higher end brands of um, eye cream. Like, it's definitely like, like not as nice, but I haven't noticed any adverse effects and it hasn't like... I feel like my eyes have kind of been around the same since I've been using it, so I think that's like a good thing. Um, I'm not getting like more fine lines. But yeah, after I use everything, I just feel like, you know, my, my face just feels great. It's glowing. I like it. And also it's like pretty affordable, so I'm not like breaking the bank all the time. And also I looked up a little bit about the snail mucus thing because I was like kind of concerned because it's like an animal product. Um, but it seemed like they're doing like a pretty okay job at like, you know, collecting the mucin from the snails from what I looked up. Like correct me if I'm wrong. I mean there's like always something wrong, but like I think they, they get the mucin from um, African giant snails and they just let the snails crawl around on like a, a, a wire grid 
and then they collect the mucin from the grid so it doesn't seem like the snails are being harmed they're just crawling around all day and you know they're just doing their best and then we take that from them I guess and also apparently like snail mucin uh, has a lot of like what is it Hy hyaluronic hydrolonic my pronunciation is not great acid which like you know, it makes your face youthful and smooth. So yeah, there's some like scientific beneficial properties to uh, the snail mucus as well, I guess. So I usually start off by washing my face. And then afterwards, I put on some essence. And then all over my face, including under my eyes. And then I put on my eye cream. And then after that, I put on my face cream. Ah, uh, yeah. And if I'm feeling a little bit fancy, sometimes before all of this, um, I would put on like some like clay bubble mask. So pretty dope. It like foams up and it's pretty fun. Or like a sheet mask like this one. Um, this one actually my friends gave me. It's super cute. Love Jimin from BTS. Oh, heck yeah. So yeah, if you're feeling those money blues, get yourself moving and maybe treat yourself with like something new in your skincare routine. Inject some positivity into your life and just keep on striving in your day. Thanks for those of you guys out there watching this random girl washing her face and just rambling about her skincare routine. And you know, let me know if you guys like have some like holy grails that you use in your skincare routine and like you know if you have like affordable options. And I'm actually like looking for maybe like a skin cream skin cream, a face cream that's like a little bit thicker for the winter because I think like most of the snail mucin stuff is like a little bit lighter. Um, maybe better for like the summer, spring, fall, but I do notice it like I'm like a little bit dry now in the winter so I'm looking into other options as well that might be able to like give me a little bit of more moisture. Yeah, so let me know if you know any of that in the comments below. So if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content every day. And I'll see you guys next time on Illustrating Philia. Bye!